Hi, I'm Hotspur, Youth Librarian with the Fayetteville Public Library. I'd like to thank you for joining us for another installment in our Library Resource 101 series, part of our 2020 summer reading program, Imagine Your Story. Be sure to check us out on the web at faylib.org src for more information about our summer reading club, and also check us out at faylib.org calendar for a complete listing of this summer's events. In this series, Library Resource 101, we will be demonstrating some of the many different digital resources we have available for Fayetteville card holders and iCard holders. In today's video, I'll be showing you the downloadable content that we have through eBooks and more. We're going to start at our webpage, faylib.org, and I want you to look at the top toolbar. You're going to see all these drop down menus. We're going to start at Research and Learn. Uh, this is a complete comprehensive list of all the digital databases that we have, and they're grouped by subject. You can scroll down, uh, you can click on uh, ebooks and audiobooks, that will bring all the individual databases up. You can also filter by all. And this will give you a complete listing of all the digital databases that we have available at the Fayetteville Public Library. But since we're focusing on downloadable content, there's actually an easier launch page for what we're looking for. So if you go to Browse under eBooks and More, we're going to click on that. And this is going to give us our main page uh, for all of our downloadable content in one uh, easy one-stop shop. So we have a number of databases. We're going to highlight all of them today, just very briefly. Uh, we're going to start with this one, Cloud Library. Cloud Library does have a desktop site, but I strongly recommend downloading one of their apps. They're just a lot more user-friendly. The Cloud Library app is pretty straightforward. Your starting navigation point will be the three lines in the top left. That's going to be your menu. The top right, you'll see an icon of a person. That's going to be your card management. And next to that icon is a magnifying glass. That's your basic search. Defaults to keyword search, but you can click on advanced, and that will give you more detailed search parameters. The featured page will show you a listing of all new and popular releases. You'll notice some of these say coming soon. That means that they're ordered. They're not released yet. You can actually change your filter setting to only display items that are currently available. You can also limit by ebook or audiobook depending on your reading preference. The browse function allows you to browse each individual collection. At the top you'll see a long scrolling list where you can narrow by subject or by genre. You'll notice at the top you can also filter by audience. So let's check out a kid's book. Beetle Battles looks fun. If you click on the Borrow button, this will check it out to your account. And once an item is checked out, you can go back to the main menu and under the heading My Books, this will bring up your account page. From here, you can see anything you have checked out. You can see what you have on hold, things you've checked out previously in the history, and you can even return items from this page. While Cloud Library is great, Overdrive Digital Library is going to have more comprehensive collection because it's part of a consortium, which means it's a library that we share with other area libraries using library to go which means that you may have to wait a little while for certain titles, but if you sign in on the top right as a Fayetteville card holder, we have an Advantage account, which means that we have extra copies available only to Fayetteville residents that people in the consortium cannot check out. But you do need to be signed in to see those. Rather than use the OverDrive desktop or app, I strongly recommend downloading Libby instead, which is tied to the same library to go database and is much more user-friendly. On the launch page, you'll find featured suggestions, as well as how to set your app up for Kindle. You'll also find some quick access links to take you to what's new, what's popular, and what's available. If you continue to scroll down, you'll see a number of pre-populated displays for various timely topics. If you scroll back to the top under Preferences, this is how you can set your app to display only the items that you're interested in. You can narrow your searches by audience, by uh, compatibility, if it'll work on your device or not. You can also sort by availability to only show those items which are currently available for checkout. And of course, at the very top is the ubiquitous search menu, uh, which will allow you to do an advanced search uh, with more parameters. For browsing, click on Explore, which will take you to a number of pre-populated resource and suggestion lists. 
There are also handy catalog guides, such as this one for kids. And when you find a title that you like, just click on it. That'll give you the opportunity to borrow it, to read a sample, or to learn more about it. At the very bottom of the app is the option to click on Shelf, which will take you to your accounts page where you can keep track of your loans, your holds, and the items you've tagged. TumbleBooks is a cloud-based software suite that doesn't require downloading anything. It includes Audiobook Cloud, TumbleBook Library, TeenBook Cloud, and TumbleBook Cloud Junior. We'll start with the first and biggest TumbleBook library. With TumbleBooks, there's no wait lists or checkouts to maintain. Everything is instantly available from the cloud. This database is great for younger readers as there are a number of early literacy resources to it. Uh, there are read-alongs where it will read the book with you. There are interactive picture books, which is probably what they're best known for. So we'll take a look at one of those. When you click on the title, you'll see a description. You'll see book details, including uh, Lexile reading levels. And when you click on Read Online, it brings up a web-based media player that will give you an animated performance of the picture book uh, with the individual lines highlighted uh, so the child can read along. These are very high-quality productions, which unfortunately you can't hear the audio in this video demo, so I encourage you to check it out for yourself. There are also read-along books, which are basically an audiobook presentation with the text accompanying it and highlighted as the sentences are being read. And of course, there are traditional ebooks in which only the text is displayed. There's a decent selection of graphic novels, as well as nonfiction books, educational videos, language learning resources, and more. TumbleBook Cloud Junior is poorly named in that the database we just looked at, which is TumbleBook Library, is actually for younger audiences. TumbleBook Cloud Junior is for grades 3 through 6. You'll see the same material types across the TumbleBook platforms, including ebooks, read-alongs, videos, audiobooks, graphic novels, and nonfiction. You'll find a slightly more detailed menu once you're past the launch page. And when you find a title that you want to read, go ahead and click on it. It'll come up in the same presentation as the previous database. Now, Teen Book Cloud is appropriately named because it's actually for teens and middle graders. Here you'll find the same kind of content as you do across the TumbleBook platform, just in a slightly different package. One interesting thing, though, is the AP English tab, which houses a nice collection of classic literature for students who may be trying to hunt down a copy for class. Audiobook Cloud is the last stop in our TumbleBook suite. It is, as the title suggests, a comprehensive collection of audiobooks that you can listen to online. One nice feature of Audiobook Cloud is it has a dedicated Spanish audiobooks collection that features a number of classic titles. Next up is Hoopla, which is a very fun database that has a lot of media to it. It does have a desktop web-based presence. I would recommend going ahead and downloading the app, though. The Hoopla app is very easy to use, and on the launch page, any items you have out will show up first. You can also set a favorites page to uh, highlight items that you want to check out at a later time, since you are limited to eight items per month. On the bottom of your screen will be the option to select your media type. So starting with video, they have movies, they have television, and you can sort by what's popular, what's recommended, or what's featured. There are plenty of options here. You can also filter your browsing with a number of criteria, including children's titles only. Once you select a title, you have the option to borrow it or to favorite it for later. Hoopla also has a decent collection of music, including a lot of popular titles. And for books, they have audiobooks, comics and graphic novels, and of course, ebooks. The penultimate stop on our database tour is Freegal Music. With Freegal, you get five free MP3 downloads every week. These are digital rights free, yours to keep forever. You also get three free hours of daily streaming, which has been bumped up to 24 hours during the pandemic. And Freegal has an app available as well. The app is just as easy to use as the website is. The featured page will show your recently played items, as well as several featured playlists 
curated by the Freegal staff. You can also directly access your recently played items, as well as items on your wish list, and these are items that you've saved to download at a future date. This is a great resource to browse. You can find trending items, new arrivals, you can search by genre, uh, playlists, and even artists. They also have music videos and audiobooks. Last but certainly not least, we have our magazine database, Flipster. With Flipster, you can digitally read the latest issues of your favorite magazines. The menu on the left allows you to browse by category, or you can browse by latest issues or all magazines. The web browser provides a very user-friendly interface for reading your magazine. Turning pages is as simple as clicking an arrow. You can even zoom in to read finer print. You also have the option of checking other pages in the magazine directly or going to check out back issues of that title. If you'd rather read your periodicals on a mobile device, you'll be happy to know that the app works just as well as the web-based service. You can browse by title or by category, and once you find a title that you want to read, the downloads are very quick and the reading is easy because all you have to do is just swipe across your screen to turn the pages. So this was just an overview of our eBooks and More databases. Stay tuned in the future for more in-depth individual demonstrations on the databases that you saw today. Don't forget to visit us on the web at faylib.org. Also, check us out on social media at Instagram and Facebook for fresh content uploaded daily. Thanks for watching.